and they all lived happily ever after. The end. That was a good one. Okay, good night, boys. Sleep tight. Wait a minute, Mom. Don't leave yet. Can you stay a while longer? What's going on? You need to get some sleep. I'm scared. That book made me nervous, and now I'm thinking about all the things I'm afraid of. Well, like what? Well, there's airplanes, bees, coronavirus, dogs, electric shock, fires, ghosts, hexes, invertebrates, judgment, knives, lice, mice, nighttime, orthodontist, poison, questions, roller coasters, spiders, teasing, under my bed, Worms, x-rays, yellow fever, and zoom! Did you just list your fears in alphabetical order? Whoa. I can relate. I feel afraid sometimes. So how do I feel better right now? I can't sleep when I'm scared. Well, stories help. When I'm afraid or I'm worrying, I remember that I'm part of a story that is way bigger than myself. And God's story is full of people who sometimes were afraid. You know, I think I have time to tell you one more story tonight. This part of God's story is during a time when a lot of people were afraid of a great many things. Just like us. It all begins in Nazareth, a town in Galilee, with a woman named Mary. Question. Um, well, are you going to ask me if I want to do this? Yes! Yes, I am servant of the Lord. Bye! I need to see Elizabeth. Are you home? I'm here. Yes, Mary. Come in. I am bursting with good news. I have just been visited by an angel of God. Mary, are you feeling okay? Yes, I'm feeling fine. I'm not joking. She told me I am to be the mother of a baby boy. He will be the son of the Most High, a son of God. Can you believe it? Wow, this is exciting. But are you a little scared? Uh-huh, yeah. That's why I'm here. Could I stay with you for a few months? My name is Owen and I'm playing Carol of the Bells. <laughs> at least, but she will be disgraced. I don't know what to do. Oh, Mary. Hey, Joe. 
I'm an angel. Now, don't be afraid to get married. It really isn't all that bad. And as it turns out, it kind of was the Holy Spirit that got your girlfriend pregnant. Now, I know it's a little hard to deal with, but in the end, it's all going to work out. Now, it's going to be a boy. You're going to have to name him Jesus. And he's going to go and save everyone from their sins. And I'll be keeping an eye on things while all this is going on. And, uh, yeah, good luck with that. Anyways, I might come and see you again sometime, but we'll see in the future. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to jet. packing your bag. Why is Joseph afraid about Mary having a baby? Do angels still visit people in dreams? Why did Mary stay at Elizabeth's house? Who names the kid God saves? Why is everyone making such a big deal about this? It's just a baby. This story is so weird. I just... Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know the answer to most of those questions. This is a bigger than life kind of story with some unexplainable and miraculous parts. That sounds like what Reverend Meg says when I ask tough questions. Good. I'm, I'm glad I sound like Reverend Meg because we just don't have all the answers. Now, the one question that I do know the answer to is why is Joseph packing? To understand that, we need to meet the emperor. Citizens of Rome, it is I, your Lord and Savior, Good Shepherd, Lightweight, Prince of Peace, Caesar Augustus. First, I want to say you're welcome for all the great things I've done for you. There has never been an empire as powerful and glorious as me. My empire is vast and you people are obedient. I am saving you all, all of you. And you owe me so much, so much. Citizens, I want to count you. Yes, let's get a let's get a get a head count so that you can all pay me what I am owed. Go to your hometown and reg register your family so that you can show proper appreciation of my awesomeness. I decree it to be so. Farewell, my faithful children, and may you all know my magnificent ways. Farewell. Okay, the good news is, I think I found us a place to stay. Finally, this baby's not going to wait much longer. Where are we staying? Did you get us a room at that nice inn that I like? The one with the good breakfast? Um, not exactly. That place was full. Oh no, where are we going to sleep? Outside with the shepherds? In the stables with donkeys? What? No! Who would do that? Joseph, this baby's coming soon. I know, I know. The guest rooms were all full, but I found a nice innkeeper who will let us stay in a small space in his home. Oh, good. Yeah, it's a real nice place. Lots of warm hay, maybe a few animals. All right, let's do this. Okay, stop there. What? Why? I don't think I want to hear about the birth part. Hmm. Huh. Okay, we can talk about that later. The Bible doesn't really say much about the birth anyway, just that Mary had the baby, she wrapped him in strips of cloth, and that she put him in a feeding trough. That's it. But that's an important detail for the next part of our story. Okay, keep going. 
Alrighty, so there were shepherds living outside in the fields nearby watching over their sheep. They were about to be frightened by some powerful messengers from God, but they would soon realize that they did not have to be afraid. Hi, my name is Samantha. And my name is Hannah, and today we will be singing and playing to Joy to the World. Joy to the World. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. The baby will be wrapped in cloth, lying in a manger. So you both saw that, right? Yep. Yes, I did. But we're going, right? Yes, we're going. We have to go. But Take us with you. Ba What were those signs again? A baby wrapped in cloth. Strips of cloth lying in a manger. Ba okay, we won't forget. Now let's go. Come on, sheep. Let's go. Dashing through the snow. Oh! 
Hello and welcome to our observatory. We are the wise men. Wise people. The magi. We are really more like scientists. Astronomers. We study the stars. So when something changes, we notice immediately. And we just noticed a new star. We must follow our scientific instincts and find out why there is a new star in the sky. We now begin our journey. Are we there yet? You literally just asked that. Now? Yes, yes, it looks like we are here. Here it is, Bethlehem. Let's look up the local king so we can get some more information. Did somebody say king? That would be me. I'm the big cheese around here. Everybody's talking about it. They all say that I'm the best king Bethlehem has ever seen. Yeah, we get it. Best king ever. So we're here because we're, we're so we're here because we're looking for the newly born king. The child born king of Jews. We observed his star at the rising. Would you excuse me for a moment? I need to make a call. Hi. Put me through my smart people. Hi, this is your king. The very best king. I need to know. According to your research, where's the Messiah supposed to be born? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Bethlehem. Are you sure? Okay, bye. Hi, wise folks. So yeah, this is great. Go on and find the child and pay him honor. And then come back to me so I can too honor him. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, we can do that. Let's get out of here. When we left Herod, he decided to sit around and be jealous and plan his revenge. He was very impressed that there was a new leader that everyone was excited to meet. But we found Jesus and brought gifts to this child. We brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Usually these gifts are for royalty. Powerful people. Grown men. But we brought these gifts to a tiny, oppressed child. Even though we didn't know exactly who he was, we knew he was important. This good news would turn everything upside down. Oh, and by the way, we didn't return to that wicked King Herod. Nope, no way. We were warned in a dream not to go that way. You might say we took the scenic route. Scenic route. And now we return to watching the stars. My name is Ilk and I'm going to be playing Weekly King. Those wise people were really brave. They honored the king God had chosen, brought him presents, disobeyed the orders of King Herod, and made it home safely. Yes, they were brave and determined. You know, I think everybody in the story was, from Mary and Joseph to the shepherds and the magi. They all realized that the birth of Jesus was going to change the world. Okay, boys, are you feeling safe and sleepy? Because our story is coming to an end. Yes, I feel safe and sleepy. But this isn't really the end. No? Why not? We all really need to get some sleep. Mom, this is just the beginning. Jesus is born. He changes water to wine. He teaches. He heals. He flips tables. He... Yes, yes, yes. You're right. Jesus' birth is just the beginning. We have a lot to talk about. But for now, why don't we just focus on this one 
special event, this one night when Jesus was born. Okay, that makes sense. This is a good story. God's story is unfolding more good news every day. And in the end, all things will be made right. That doesn't mean we won't be afraid along the way, but we can trust that love and justice will have the final word. And speaking of the final word, it really is time for you boys to go to sleep. So I'm going to close our book from there. And why don't you lay down? I'm going to turn your light out here. All right. Sleep tight, boys. Dream about some songs and some stories we can talk about tomorrow.